Race for Lines, a year seven competition for students. They build a rocket car, so they get a small foam block, shape it into a car, and then launch it at about 60 mile an hour down a 20 meter track. This brilliant example car that your teacher has made, what do you think of that? It's quite cool, but it's a little bit too heavy. What do you think is the best way to make your car win a race? Aerodynamic. Sanding it down and trying to like make it quite light and stuff. Slim wheels. We're trying to make it light so it can go through the air quickly. We've all gone through education where you sit in a classroom and look at a PowerPoint slide, but the ability to turn something from one thing into another, see how it works, develop the skills, because it's a real good introduction into the manufacturing world. Do you have any ideas what you'd like to do as a job? Be a vet. I've always wanted to be an actress. Hairdresser. Architecture. Mechanic. Army. Architect. Certainly when you look at the age that we live in uh, and how everything is digitised, everything is enabled by technology, that ability to continue to develop technology is going to require more and more people who are employed in the STEM sector. For me, I wanted an exciting career. Engineering specifically, you're at the forefront of technology in the RAF and that's what I wanted to do. We're hoping it won't go up into flames when we set it off. We don't stamp on any idea of creativity and that's what Race for Lines is all about. It's not about winning, it's about having a go at something that's new, outside of their comfort zone, but seeing the result with some hard work, and it works really, really well.